Welcome to Evening Prayers for Sunday the 1st of November 2020. In the Christian calendar, today is All Saints Day, where we remember all those of faith who have died. On a personal level, we also remember those whose faith has inspired us, challenged us and formed our own faith. So the theme I have chosen for tonight is a communion of saints. Let us pray. All honour and praise and glory to you, intimate one, through whom we are created, through whom we live and move, through whom we have our being, in whom we relate, in whom we express and we wander, and in whom we find meaning, with whom we shout our joy, and with whom we sing deep sorrow, with whom we share our story, all honour, praise and glory to you. Amen. With a great cloud of witnesses around us, we try to run the race that lies ahead. Help us, God of truth, to lay aside every weight and the sin that restricts our movement. Forgive us for the times we have failed to clothe our ourselves in love and enable us to fix our eyes on Jesus, in whom we have found our hope. Amen. Our reading is from 1 John chapter 3 verses 1 to 3. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this, when he is revealed, we will be like him, we will see him as he is, and all who have this hope in him purify themselves just as he is pure. We're connected with each other through our faith in Jesus but also connected by so much more than simply what we believe. We are connected because each one of us carries the very likeness of God. And as we grow in faith, inspired by God and each other, we move even closer to the full potential of who we are and what we will be. When God looks at us, he sees not just who we are today, but also what we could be and what we will be. This is the blessing of the communion of saints, the faith and the love and the grace which connects us to each other at the very centre of our being. And through our connection with each other, connects us to God. Let us share together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. We would have held our service of remembering today. And so we take this time now to settle into the peace of the mountaintop. As we share our prayers for the world. And also remember our family and friends who have gone before us who shared our lives, who inspired our faith, and who loved us as we love them.
Eternal God, we thank you for the light that has come into the world in Jesus, and for his promise that whoever follows him will have the light of life. We give thanks for those we have loved who have passed into the joy of your light and life, and we give thanks for the light they brought into our lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Across the ages, you, Jesus, have called women and men to follow and to walk in the way of righteousness and truth. We praise you for the witness of Christians in every generation, for those who have served you, those who taught the gospel to the people, for the ones who struggled for the poor and oppressed, and those who have died a martyr's death. Christ, who calls us, hear our prayer. Bless your followers today, we pray. We remember all who make sacrifices to serve you and your persecuted disciples in many lands, strengthen their faith in the time of need, grant them hope in the teeth of despair and the love that knows no boundaries. Christ, who calls us, Hear our prayer. Give to the world your deep peace and help us overcome the oppression and violence that destroys lives. We pray especially for those nations tinged with hatred and injustice and look to a world in which all may have enough. Christ who calls us, hear our prayer. Comfort and hold all who are sick and sorrowing, and give your wisdom and peace to those who care for them. Christ, who calls us, hear our prayer. And teach us each one to follow you, Lord Jesus, to be your disciples, the heralds of your kingdom. Though we sometimes feel weary, strengthen us to persevere, and so to run the race that lies before us in thankfulness and hope. Christ who calls us, hear our prayer and grant us the peace that comes in serving you. Amen. And our final blessing. May God give us grace to follow the saints in humility, righteousness and peace. And may the blessing of the God of hope, creator, redeemer and sustainer, go with us and remain with us always. Amen.